She was a vulnerable woman, brutally murdered in her own home by two young girls. In my experience, I've never ever come across a case like this before uh, with, with female offenders like this and the fact that they were young girls. Her killers used a shovel, a coffee table and a TV. They were aged just 13 and 14 at the time. The pair posted a picture online of them at the crime scene with their victim in the background. After the attack, they rang the police for a lift home before taking a selfie in the back of the van. They each received life sentences with a minimum of 15 years in prison. A serious case review into her murder found Angela and her killers all had difficult backgrounds. It revealed multiple failures by officials, but concluded the murder couldn't have been prevented. 999, police emergency. Shut up! <laughs> Look, you can come and get us, please. It's cold and I want to go home. An independent film based on the murder was released last year. Like me! The reason I wanted to make this film version of the Angela Wrightson story was because I felt it was a very important story because it was really a sign of the times. Uh, teenagers seem to feel that, uh, in many cases, that their 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 worth as a, a human or as a person or to society is based on their popularity in social media, regardless of who they are as a real person. Do you want to get in trouble? No. Then shut up. The film uses fictional characters. Many of the scenes are completely improvised and feature first-time teenage actors filming themselves on mobile phones. Its subject matter is likely to be controversial. The man behind the film insists it's an important issue that needs to be discussed. I understand that some people might think that is a distasteful event to turn into a film. The film itself focuses more on the toxic relationship between the teenage girls. The actual uh, depiction of the murder itself in the film is, is relatively short. How do you know Brenda? Just everyone knows her. The film appeared at a series of film festivals and was nominated for awards. In October, it will be shown at the Spirit of Independence Film Festival in Sheffield. For a long time, I've, I've been receiving messages from people, especially in the Hartlepool area, asking how they can see the film, and finally this will give them the opportunity to do exactly that. Lee Johnson, BBC Look North.